Hi, I'm Emily Reiser, and today on Detunes, we'll be discussing Jimi Hendrix and his impact on the music community. James Marshall Hendrix was an American rock guitarist, singer, and songwriter. His birth name was Johnny Allen Hendrix, but it was changed to James Marshall Hendrix in honor of his brother's death. Jimmy was born on November 27, 1942, in Seattle, Washington. His parents were James, or Al, Hendrix, and Lucille Jetter. Jimmy had three younger siblings, all of whom Al and Lucille gave up to foster care and adoption. Jimmy died on September 18, 1970. He choked on his own vomit and died of asphyxia while intoxicated with barbecues. Jimmy Hendrix is today acknowledged for the impact he had on rock music and moving rock to a higher level. Some of his major contributions to rock music are improving the styles that were used to play guitar, such as playing the guitar on his back. He also influenced other singers on how they would sing and play to lead at the same time. During that time, a rock band only consisted of at least two people, a separate player for the leader and the singer. However, Jimmy changed his trend by singing and playing the lead at the same time. This attracted many musicians at that time, and as a result, they practiced it, thus changing the look of rock significantly. He is also known to destroy his guitar by setting it on fire. It was in the era of rock and roll music of rebellion that destroying instruments became a staple. Jimi Hendrix's music came to its peak in the 1960s when music, especially rock music, was still developing. Throughout his lifetime as a musician, Jimi held concerts in different places, thus reuniting people and bridging the social gaps that existed between societies. For instance, between 1962 and 1965, Jimmy traveled around the county, excuse me, country as a backup player for Little Richard, Jackie Wilson, Sam Cooke, and the Isley Brothers, and others. Some of his recordings include Are You Experienced, Axis, Full of Love, Electric Ladyland, and The Cry of Love, which became among the top five songs on the best song charts of the United States and the United Kingdom. In terms of songwriting, Jimmy's songs were exceptional despite the fact that he could not read music. That's all for today. See you next time on Detunes.